here is a uh, knife kit from Gordon, 33 piece, and uh, it's from Harbor Freight. Um, I have this old one that I just really don't like, and um, it's kind of like, I don't know, rusted away. I don't know where I got this. But see, there's a magnetic strip. It's supposed to be here, and then all these pieces go in here, but... I just, I don't like it. One, because it's got plastic barrel. I'm just not in for that. Um, I mean, I like the little box. The best one is the exact one like my dad has. It's a wood case. And I, it's just the neatest thing. Um, this barely locks. I don't remember where I got that thing. It's crappy. Anyway. Here. And I was looking online, and Walmart has one that's by HyperTuff, and it's really neat, but I didn't feel like playing with Walmart today, because I've already been there one time, and uh, so, I went over and got this, because this is right next to my office, anyway. So, let's see, it's got 26 assorted blades, 3 standard blade holders, deluxe blade handle with ergonomic grip, nicely organized, convenient storage carry case, uh, and let's see, tweezers, 24T10, and two scratch all blades, a caliper, jewelry precision screwdriver, and a bonus pin type aluminum precision screwdriver with six bits. That looks like a lock pick set to me. Huh. And then it comes in this case. That's pretty cool. And this was $20. I think with tax and everything. They had a more expensive one, but it had the little plastic inserts like that thing I just showed you. And I just wasn't going for that. So let's go in here and see what this is all about. If you ever buy stuff at Harbor Freight and you want to take it back, they charge a restock fee. And then they sell it in their Harbor Freight sales. So most of that stuff has been used. So be careful and have a look. They had some beautiful toolboxes today in white, the big stand-up boxes. Man, really super cool. They have all different colors, but I quite like that white. I'm a real clean freak, so the white would have been ideal. But I just... Will we get it out? I looked at their diamond bits for the rotary tools, and uh, they look pretty neat. Somebody, I guess, had stole one out of a box. Because I picked a box, I'm like, oh, this is light. There wasn't even anything in it. Okay, so. I guess this is the, ooh, my tripod broke yesterday. I have another one that I got for my daughter, but it's in a box somewhere. Hmm. So I guess you put the tip in there and it'll put it through this. And then it's probably got a mole here in the back. Tight squeezer. Black coated. Huh. So you get a bunch of those things. Sure as heck I'll get them out, but then I can't get them back in. So you get all these in there. Yep, that's about a lock pick kit. 
interesting. That's good for a sewing machine. That'd be real handy on the sewing machine. Okay. Let's see, I think I'd have trouble getting another part back in. Okay, so this plastic coated here. So I guess this stay in. It's got magnetic. I just dropped in piece. Hold on. Ooh. Okay. So I just dropped the tweezer thing. I don't like magnetics in a lot of stuff because if it's near your computer, whatever, it'll jack up the hard drive. But anyway, I liked it better if they'd snapped in or something. So we got all these different cutter tips. I wonder what these do. Some tool tips or something. What is this? Hmm. I would have liked the hyper tough one so much better. They had one for $9.99 and they had actually some exacto kits, but you never know when you get in the store if they have it. Yeah, that's plastic, that doesn't do a whole lot of good. They did it for his metal. Exacto has one that has metal in it. There's a nice lock pick piece. So yeah, it works like an exacto. You put the bit in there, tighten it down. Nice rubbery handles. It's pretty decent there. Anything else? Okay, so you under it here, and then you can loosen that. So if you're working on a project and you need different blades, this would be very handy for that. They look about all the same size. And then this big heavy jobber for cutting around stuff. This one's got a little hole in it. Okay. I don't like this cheap plastic foam thing. I'd like it better if they'd snapped in place in here or something. But, I mean, it's a nice kit. Just crappy packaging. I'm not a big fan of the packaging at all. Except for the box. Look at this. It falls right out. So you got to do it this way, or is it all going to fall out over here? Pretty much. So this damn tweezer keeps falling out. Really, that's so much poor packaging except for the outside of the case. It's got a little lock thing. But this stuff falls right out. It's kind of lame. You shut it this way, the other stuff falls out. You shut it this way, this falls out. Probably the best thing to do is put the tweezer thing in here. It's gonna stay. This is just ready to fall right out. Crappy, crappy packaging. Like, I gotta glue this in. It's got sticky tape. To me, I don't even think we need this part. I think it'd be better if we just get rid of that. thing down. But then maybe all the bits just fall out. I got some more of this tape. I'll put some of that tape in there. I got some heavy duty 3M double weather tape. I'll tape that in there because that's lame. 
Man, I really don't like that magnetic crap. But anyway, it's like 20 bucks. I probably would have been happier with the hyper tough one. Look at the pins already falling out. What kind of caca is that? Look at it. I just got it. And the damn pin is falling out of the hinge. This is all loose. This one is stay. That's really crappy. I'm going to take that back. If they'll let me do it, because I'm going to be perturbed. Because that's just going to keep falling out, that thing. Alright, talk to you later.